Uh, I'm about to embark on one of the most exciting journeys that you can go on via land. I'm trying to get back to China to continue learning Tai Chi with my master and I'm going to take the train. The journey starts in Bristol, my hometown in England. We take the train to mainland Europe and to Russia, a country unimaginably vast and for me, completely unknown. From Moscow, I take the iconic Trans-Siberian Railway. I spend three nights on board before reaching the depths of Siberia. For an Englishman who starts panic buying socks if it snows, I wonder how communities survive when the average winter temperature is minus 25 degrees. From Siberia, I'm not sure. The coronavirus has tragically killed thousands in China, but I bought all my visas and tickets before the outbreak, and my Tai Chi master says he is safe where he is. Me, absolutely. I'm very safe because we are in amazing Wuda Mountain. The Wuda Mountain is very vast. This may be the most stupid decision I ever make, but I can always turn back. In a world where time is money, spending 12 days stuck in a metal box on wheels may seem like a crazy way to travel. But I think I might learn something by slowing down. Hello, Oksana. How are you? Hello, George. I'm fine. What's, what's the temperature for you at the moment? Uh, at the moment, pretty warm. It's like uh, minus eight Celsius. M minus eight is a warm day, is that right? Yeah, yeah. Pretty okay. warm, yeah. Uh, we are expecting minus 34, so... Right. What sort of things could I expect um, from Siberia in, in February? I, I guess I'm interested in the sort of lives that people lead when it's that cold people are gonna be friendly despite the cold we are actually we don't smile a lot but it doesn't mean anything we are warm inside our way of life probably it's too cold to smile for us be prepared to get really cold okay <laughs> bit of a challenge of what clothes to bring I could bring my tai chi clothes i'm not sure how warm they are too bad be wise enjoy yourself take feedback <laughs> i'll be sensible not gonna just go into my death i will be flexible I'm sad to be leaving, I'm sad to be leaving my family and Bristol and my friends but it also has been quite lonely just working by myself so I'm excited to try and get back to Master Goose if I actually get there and to continue getting deeper into Taoism and Tai Chi. It's obviously a, a great privilege and honour that I'm really grateful for to be able to do this and yeah we'll see what we learn together. Here we go. I'm excited. It's been months in the planning. I'm going back to China. Yes! Boom! Brussels, the centre of European politics and power. Britain will no longer be part of that club. Welcome to Germany. So far, a very pleasant journey. The Europeans do their trains 
very well. Eurostar, excellent, very quick. Suddenly I was in Brussels and people speaking French and now we're on the German trains. I want to talk a little bit about Deutsche Bahn. They are the second biggest travel uh, logistics company in the world. I've just been looking at their Wikipedia. They have revenues of $40 billion per year. In Britain, we have a private rail network. We had British Rail in 1992, something like that, and it was privatized. The French and the German governments have both bought into Britain's private rail networks. So cross country, Arriva, if you're British, those trains are actually run by the German government. Quite interesting. It turns out I'm actually a bit of a train nerd. I kind of forgot about that. I look at quite a lot of train videos on YouTube, so it's quite enjoying it really, seeing how all the different countries do things. Okay, let's go for it. The train is more expensive and it's 25 times slower than flying. So it's a bit of a crazy way to travel all the way to the east. And I certainly feel the pressure in our fast paced society to always be productive, time is money. But the reality is, is that until we get badass solar planes, we all need to try and fly a bit less if we are to avert catastrophic climate change. Plus, on the plane, right, what do you get? You have your ready meal, you watch a low-res film, you have a snooze, and you arrive. You don't get a sense for the scale of our planet, nor how the cultures and nature transforms on the journey. So, I'm gonna try out this century-old train line, and who knows, I don't know what we're gonna learn, and what we're gonna find. We may find that this is, in fact, the transportation future. I hope you enjoyed this new series. A lot has changed since I left. It's taken me weeks to edit. I'm safe, but you'll find out what happens as the videos come out. One piece of news, I'm looking to hire a video editor, someone with experience who uses Final Cut Pro, and we're going to make some cool videos together. I also want to hire an animator. Uh, if I get to Master Goose, I want to animate some Chinese stories. So if your artistry style matches the Chinese uh, flowing style, then there's a link down in the description below. It wouldn't be possible uh, to hire people without the help of the Patreons. Thank you. My aspiration for this channel is philosophy in nature, documentary quality videos free on YouTube. So I'm not documentary quality yet, but I appreciate your support in making that possible. Give me a few years. Okay, the next video is me going from Warsaw to Moscow. I will see you then. <laughs>